On a beautiful morning, Thomas and Doug carried a long, heavy goods train to take to Russia. I can't wait to go to Russia, said Thomas. We get to meet Ivan from the Great Race. It's going to be fun, said Duck. But then there was trouble. Thomas and Duck saw Ari and Bert capturing Emily at Vickerstown Station. Oh no, said Duck. It's Ari and Bert. What have they done, said Thomas. They've captured Emily. What was that, said Ari. Nothing. N nothing, Bert. It's just the wind. This is terrible, said Duck. All right, Emily. Let Tell us one more time. Where is Thomas? I will not tell you, said Emily crossly. All right. Bert put something strange on her. Emily's eyes glowed red. I'll obey you, Arian Bird, said Emily. The engines were shocked. What are we going to do now, said Thomas. Only one thing to do, said Duck, and they went back to tell Sir Topham Hat. So I did the beginning part to show you that I made Vickerstown Station. It's a new custom to be in my series. Um, I'm Hopefully I get to finish it, but uh, this is just a little intermission to show you it. Back to the movie. See ya. After a while, Thomas and Duck were finding Sir Topham Hat, but they managed to find him looking around the island. Sir, said Thomas and Duck, there's trouble at Vickerstown Station. What is it, said Sir Topham Hat. Ari and Bert have captured Emily and turned her evil with a device they put on her. That's terrible, said Sir Topham Hat. When did this happen? Uh, on our way to Russia, we didn't get the delivery there because we tried to avoid being seen by Ari and Bert. Well, I need to find out what's going on. I'll meet up with it later. And Sir Topham Hack kept his word. I'm glad you've joined the team, Emily, said Diesel 10. No problem, sir, said Emily. While I'm on with Splatter and Dodge on the mainland searching for the other engines, I'm putting you in charge. Thank you, sir, said Emily. Emily. And I'm, in the meanwhile, Ari and Bird will be your henchmen. Yes, sir. Now, I need you to go find Thomas and Duck. And Diesel's tense screen turned off. My biggest achievement yet, said Emily cheekily. I'll go find Thomas and destroy those stinky steamies. That night at the sheds, the engines were listening to what Thomas and Duck have seen today. Disgraceful, protested Spencer. Disgusting, put in James. Despicable, finished Henry. We must stop Emily from destroying us steam engines, said Duke. But how will we do that, said Edward. We all have jobs to do tomorrow, said Percy. I have a plan, said James. I'll ask Sir Topham Hatt if we can take in goods trains full of gold dust. Where are we going to find gold dust, said Henry. I still have that gold dust from the time me and Flying Scotsman stopped Diesel 10 from taking it. Great idea, Thomas, said Duck. The engines were ready for tomorrow morning. That morning, James told Sir Topham Hatt of what they were doing. Are you sure this will work, James? said Sir Topham Hatt. Yes, it will, said James. Sir Topham Hatt went to talk to the other station masters about it, just as Thomas and Percy came. Is everything going by plan, James? said Percy. Yes, it is, said James. Hooray, said Thomas. We'll be able to stop Emily, Ari, and Bert for once. And they went off to collect the trains of gold dust. Later on in Napford Yards, James, Thomas, and Percy found their trains of gold dust waiting. Thank you, Neville, said the engines. No problem, per said Neville proudly. What's with the coal car, said Thomas. You're going to meet Mr. Conductor at Vickerstown Yards, said, said Neville. Then you'll take it to him to create gold dust, and you guys can head over to Shining Time, where Emily and Arian and Bird won't find you. That's a clever idea, said Percy. We can be at Shining Time for a while, said James. And not, get, and not get caught by Emily, said Hector. We're on our way, said Percy. They peeped their whistles and went out in the Napford yard. Thomas, Percy, and James were nearing Vickerstown Yards when they saw Emily, Ari, and Bert. Oh dear, said Emily. Looks like you three are going to be scrapped at the diesel works. Harry, Bert, Chase, Thomas, and Percy. I'm going for the red one. My name is James, he said. 
Whatever, said Emily. T James's driver uncoupled Thomas and Percy. Emily charged forward. The engines raced back. The signalman changed switched James onto the main line. Thomas and Percy veered into the siding fast. And Emily raced it after James. Come here, you two, shouted Harry. Thomas and Percy were racing fast, and they were nearing the coal depot. Then, Thomas and Percy veered onto a track. The signalman changed the points, but Harry and Bird were going at full speed. They didn't notice the points until it was too late. They were going at full speed. They crashed into a pile of coal. Coal dust flew everywhere and went on to Airy, Bert, Thomas, and Percy. Well, 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 chuckled Thomas. Two diesels got covered in coal and they can't get on the tracks. The diesels were furious. We're going to get you, they said. Not for long, said the two, and they raced off. James was pumping his pistons faster than ever. Emily was coming fast, too. You're over, James, said Emily cheekily. You're going to be gone. No, I won't, said James. James was soon running out of track. He applied his brakes. And James was trapped. It's time for your end, James, said Emily. I don't think so, said James bravely. I bet you don't want to be sitting there. Why? Ow, 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 cried Emily. All the... Due to all the quarry rocks falling on her, all her evil energy summoned out of her funnel and went and disappeared in the mist. What happened, James? said Emily. You're back to normal, said James happily. He whistled and peeped in delight. Emily, well, Emily was confused. I don't know how this happened. Sir Topham had rushed by. Is Emily safe? said, said Sir Topham had. She is, said James. Well, what's going on, said Emily. Ari and Bird have tried to make you evil. <gasps> oh my gosh, they did? Yes, they did. Oh, now I remember, said Emily. They placed something evil on me. But we're happy to have you back, and we're happy you're normal again. But at the diesel works, Diesel 10 was furious. You two have let me down, and now my plan to get the gold dust again is ruined! We're sorry, sir, said Bert. We didn't mean to get Emily away, said Harry. Well, now you have, and I think I'll have to put you in the shed for a month. No, said the twins. It's not good. <coughs> well, I think it is for me, said Diesel Tan. I, you'll just have to wait and see.